There are a ton of places to see in Chattanooga. A ton. Tennessee River Park. Lookout Mountain. Ruby Falls. Tennessee Aquarium. Walnut Street Bridge. Raccoon Mountain. Creative Discovery Museum for Kids, Coolidge Park, Hunter Museum, Southern Bell Riverboat Cruise, Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum, Chattanooga Zoo, Lookout Mountain, Hang Gliding, Cloudland Canyon, Hemlock Falls, Fall Creek Falls, plus many, 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 many other places in Chattanooga. This is all women in this one section. There's fun women in the military. That's what I'm saying. That's an awesome mailbox, ain't it? It's not even a mailbox.
Tom Thumb Golf Course on top of Lookout Mountain was the first patented miniature golf course. Chattanooga is also home to the state's largest mall, which is Hamilton Place Mall. The world's first franchise Coca-Cola bottling plant was built in Chattanooga by two local attorneys who bought the franchise bottling rights for one dollar each. Chattanooga Choo Choo was a formal railroad terminal. It contains the largest freestanding brick dome in the world. Walnut Street Bridge was built in 1891 and it's one of the world's longest pedestrian bridges. Ruby Falls, which is located on top of Lookout Mountain, have some of the deepest commercial caverns in the United States. They go up to a thousand feet deep. The Hunter Museum Art holds the nation's largest American art collection. Chattanooga is also home to the first and largest national military park. It's also home of Usher, Samuel Jackson, Bessie Smith, Leslie Jordan, Peyton Manning, Terrell Owens, and many more. For climbers, Chattanooga is a mecca. There are more rocks within a 25 mile radius than in Boulder, Colorado. As well as Patton Chapel right over here and the bridal dressing room. Now, her name was Anna and she was a bride. She came to get married here in Danforth Chapel, the smaller chapel on the other side, and ended up getting jilted at the altar. So hopefully we're gonna be able to talk to her tonight. She does not like men, she hates me in particular. Um, hopefully y'all are gonna get some good responses from her. I'm gonna get your devices turned on and set up and then I'm going to get our obelisk on and going and hopefully we'll get some good stuff from her. So, got it, got it. Smells like a, like an old train, don't it? Oh, look at it. Stuff like this, are you? It's like it's falling apart, man.
outside here, see the high point climbing. Fitness next, they climb the tiles outside five glass, some people up there now. Lake Winnipesaukee, commonly known as Lake Winnie, is an amusement park located in Rossville, Georgia, just south of Chattanooga. Carl and Mignette Dixon opened the park to over 5,000 guests on June 1, 1925. They named it after the Native American word Winnipesaukee, meaning bountiful waters or beautiful lake of the highlands. The park originally featured the largest swimming pool in the southeast United States, which debuted in 1926 and was later removed. Its boat chute attraction, designed by Carl Dixon and opened in 1927, is still the oldest mill chute water slide of its kind still in operation in the United States. In its early years, the park's primary focus was on its water attractions. Later, the park began expanding its dry, dry amusement rides, offering the introduction of the historic carousel and well-known cannonball roller coaster in the late 1960s. Lake Winnie has grown to over 80 acres, has 38 rides, and a five-acre water park. <laughs> 